Hey, Facebook, uh, I'm on location in Vandalia, Illinois. This is the town that I grew up in, a little town of six, 7,000 people. Uh, this is the very lake that I grew up on. This is where I spent every weekend uh, tubing, skiing, um, just driving the boats around. Every weekend, of course, that it wasn't 23 degrees. Uh, but if it was warm enough to be on the water, we were out there. And so um, I'm up here this weekend to do a wedding for my childhood best friend. Um, she and I were cradle babies together. We did everything together. We spent every day together growing up. And um, we lived out in the country. And so it was really just the two of us. And uh, so I would do easy bake ovens um, and and girl things with her and then she would do baseball and bike riding and boy things with me and so um we just we just learned to love each other and grow up together and so she's getting married this weekend i'm excited to do that wedding i'm also excited to tell you about a christmas message that's happening sunday at church um brother jimmy's preaching about kingship um and this 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 juxtaposition between the wise men and king herod in matthew chapter 2 and we see that that king herod um was trying to to steal the throne back from King Jesus that was coming. He knew that Jesus was was predicted or prophesied, prophesied to be this king, and Herod was trying to, to kill that before it happened. And these other people from the east, these noblemen, these wise men, um, they came and they found this king, and they, they, they basically, what the scripture says, they kind of walked around Herod on the way back out. They... they they circumvented Herod uh, and went another way on the way back out once they found the rightful and true king um, in Jesus. And so that really, this is really a conflict that's been happening since the garden, right? It's this conflict of trying to rob God of his power, trying to rob God of his authority, trying to rob God of his place on the throne. And so Adam and Eve did it. Um, every single human being has done that since that time. Uh, and that includes you, and that includes me. Uh, we don't like to be told what to do. We want to be in charge. We want to be in authority. And so Jimmy says all the time, and, and I'm sure he will mention it in the message this weekend, and if not, he will now. <laughs> uh, but, but there's only two responses when you encounter the true Jesus, the biblical Jesus. You either bow and worship or you turn and run. And um, that's what happens when you encounter this king. And so the wise men chose to, to bow and worship. Herod chose the other path. And they're both completely different stories, and they both have completely different results, and they both have completely different destinations. So I hope you join Emmanuel this Sunday. Um, catch us on our live stream, catch us on our Facebook, or uh, show up on campus at 1030. Troy and the band will be leading worship. They will do a phenomenal job pointing us to Jesus, um, singing the gospel. We will preach the gospel. We will pray the gospel. We will read scripture um, that proclaims the gospel. Because we want, we want to raise and grow and disciple a gospel people um, who just absolutely go into El Dorado through the highways and the byways and the counties and the country roads, um, just completely saturated in proclaiming the good news that Jesus is king. And you have two options, turn and run or bow and worship. So join us this Sunday. I will see you back next week as we keep pointing to Jesus. I love you guys.